Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. Um, got the weighing heavy on my mind the other night. Is this old alternator going to be enough alternator for all these lights I've stuck on this combine? So I decided I would find out. And what I did was I took my little uh, multimeter and you can see I got it switched to the setting called 10A, 10 amps DC. And neat thing about a battery disconnect when you want to take a current measurement you need to get in series or in line and with that disconnect open you can pop right in there and to simulate voltage that you would have on this battery with the alternator spinning I connected my battery charger to it you can see that red lead there and the black one right there and that voltage was uh, measured at 14.1 volts DC So what I did You can see there I got a fuel pump and with just a fuel pump running it 2.71 amps and then the fan in the cabs got three settings on high it was pulling five amps on the medium It was pulling 3.4 and on low it was pulling 2.5 and what I'm calling the low beam light circuit uh, pull 3.3 amps and when you switch to high beam, what I'm calling high beam uh, circuit, you still got the low beam lights on. And what happens is with those on and then the additional lights that come on, it pulls five amps on that circuit. And then there's a light up on top of the cab, and it shocked me. That one's only pulling 1 1.9 amps. So I can look at these numbers now and realize that I got plenty of alternator. <laughs> That's a 35 amp output alternator. So I got that off my mind. Didn't take long to collect a little data, take a look at it, get a little voltmeter down here on the uh, battery. That cutoff switch has been a lot of peace of mind. I'm glad I got that thing. Well, up here on the combine, checking stuff, thinking about stuff short little video rained here pretty good uh the other day let's see what is today today's wednesday rained here uh monday and it's been cold it's turned off cold cold front come in on us <clears throat> looking out there across that field i've finished i've actually done some vertical tillage on it now but the rain was about an inch so the ground's wet and that field that I'm working on, that last little bit that I did pick come out of that field, it's got the wet spots. So game plan, today's Wednesday, it was bright and sunny and windy and cold. Tomorrow's supposed to be bright and sunny and windy and cold. And hoping that Friday is supposed to be bright and sunny and not so cold. I'm hoping to get back over there and pick some more beans on Friday. So we'll see if we can't get the camera in the cab and take y'all for a ride with me. Everybody, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel, uh, watching the videos, and just being here. God bless each and every one of y'all. Bye now.